The best wardrobe begins with the right basics and finding the perfect basics for any occasion just means that you never have to worry about not having anything to wear ever again. And a closet built on a selection of streamlined items makes day-to-day -day dressing so much easier. So if you'd like to take the guesswork out of getting dressed, then it's time to go back to basics. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about unexpected closet essentials. Now what I mean by that is essential pieces that are going to be right for you. Now I'm sure you've watched plenty of these types of videos here on YouTube, but this one is a little bit different because I'm going to try and tailor it so that you create essential pieces that are right for you, for your lifestyle, for your taste, for your body type. And that is what it's all about. I'm going to share some of my essential pieces and these are the pieces that really make it easy for me to get dressed each day and I know that they'll do the same for you. The only thing is they may look a little different for you which makes a lot of sense because obviously we don't all have the same taste and we don't all have the same lifestyle. First up, I want to talk about classic accessories. Now, don't switch off because classic doesn't have to mean boring, it doesn't have to mean minimal, it doesn't have to mean black, streamlined. So what we're really talking about is those go-to pieces that you can grab at a moment's notice and feel great in. For me, a watch is an absolute essential. It's a piece that I wear every day. And yes, I know that my phone can do that for me, but I am probably a little old school in that I like a watch to tell the time. And I also love it as a great fashion accessory. I have two essential watches, which I absolutely love, and I alternate them each day. Both of them are from a company called Vincent. I love these watches because they're both exceptionally well crafted and for me that's an important element when it comes to shopping for essentials. They do need to be as good a quality as I can afford. Both of these watches are also super styly and they're also affordable which is why I love them. Now this video isn't sponsored by Vincero but they've been kind enough to give me a discount code that will save you 15% off any of their watches. They also make some amazing men's watches too, so it's definitely worth checking them out. I recently gave one to my boyfriend and they even engraved something on the back of the watch to make it extra special. So they're great for gift ideas too. Anyway, I'll leave the link to Vincero and my discount code in the description box so you can go and check them out too. The next essential that I think it's really important that we all have is our signature piece. Now our signature piece can be anything from sequin pants to an amazing faux fur jacket. It really is about something that makes a statement every time you wear it and most importantly makes you feel amazing every time you wear it. And usually these signature pieces tend to find you more than you finding them. Now I have this amazing pink faux fur jacket which I will never part with. It is one of the pieces that I absolutely love. I don't wear it all the time but when I do wear it it makes me feel really happy. It was also given to me by a gorgeous friend who's no longer with us so it has huge sentimental value to me and that's another reason why I'll never part with it. But these signature pieces are a little bit of you, they're a little bit special, they'll elevate any look and they're just pieces that you'll hold on to forever. Another unexpected essential is a pair of shoes that you really love. Now, most essential videos will cover off things like ballet flats or a nude heel, but for me, I think it's really important to have a pair of shoes, at least one pair of shoes that you absolutely love. Now, these are the shoes that fit your lifestyle and you can wear them really regularly. I've got a couple of pairs that I absolutely love and one of my essentials is a pair of trainers. For me, they fit my lifestyle, style, they fit the pieces that I love wearing and they're comfortable and classic. So it's about identifying what your look is, what your style is and finding a shoe that you absolutely love to create a, an essential capsule wardrobe. Remember, these are the go-to pieces that you can just wear at a moment's notice and they can create an outfit that 
is you and it makes you feel great and it's not trying to copy someone else's style or someone else's idea of what a capsule or essential wardrobe should look like. Another wardrobe essential is having enough layering pieces. Now, what I mean by these pieces are things like black camis or white t-shirts or under pieces that are just great for layering. I have a couple of really great, very simple black camis. Now these are pieces that really never date. I've had these two camis for a number of years and oh, one is inside out here. That's not ideal showing it to you like that. But I think you get the idea. And essentially these pieces are great just worn under a blazer or they can be worn over a simple white t-shirt or over a, a simple white button-up shirt. They are great layering pieces. Now it's about just working out what your layering pieces look like. So as I said, mine are these two black camis. I also consider simple white t-shirts as great layering pieces in my wardrobe because they fit my lifestyle and they work with everything else I own. Classic layering pieces also need to be the type of pieces that will last the distance and stand the test of time. They're not trend pieces but they are pieces that perhaps are a little bit better quality than your everyday t-shirt because essentially you want them to last. This is another example of one of my layering pieces and it's just a really fine, long layering piece which essentially I can wear under anything and it just gives me a little bit of length and it just adds a little bit of interest to, to any outfit. So instead of just wearing a simple basic t-shirt, I could wear this underneath and it just, as I said, gives a little more interest and it covers up areas if I'm feeling like I just need a little bit more coverage as well. So try and work out what your layering pieces look like and how they are going to work well into your wardrobe. These are the pieces that are sort of the glue that, that hold everything together and that's why I think they're essential. Great bags are also a real closet essential for me and I think for most of us. And again, we need to look and see what works for us. I particularly love being hands-free when it comes to my bags, so crossbody bags and backpacks are my go-tos for sure. And they are pieces that are always in my wardrobe. I've recently included this amazing common people full leather, beautiful backpack into my closet and a leather backpack is something that I have always wanted and it's taken me a while to get it but finally I have. I love this backpack's minimal design and the fact that it's real quality too just means that it's actually going to last me a lifetime. As well as being super styly, it's also really practical and I'm someone that, that does love a bag that just gives me an option of being hands-free. I also love supporting local New Zealand designers and small businesses and Common People is a fairly new label that comes out of the South Island in New Zealand in a place called Wanaka. So the team at Common People have also kindly offered me a 10% discount code to pass on to you and once again I will leave a link and the details of that code in the description box below. I also own this beautiful Italian leather Teddy Blake crossbody handbag and again it's just a classic for me because of its minimal styling so it suits my lifestyle. It's very simple, it's very practical, it's hard wearing, it won't go out of fashion and again that is why it's a classic and a wardrobe staple. I love its stunning minimalist design and that means that I can wear it with pretty much everything I own. I've also got details on how you can save 35% off at Teddy Blake and I even have a special code for you guys so that you get an extra $20 off your order. So I'll leave all the details in the description box for that one too. Next up we have a great pair of pants or a skirt. Now for me I love pants and I tend to have a couple of pairs of pants from a local New Zealand designer and I love these pants because they, they fit me well and they're great quality. So I know that they're not trend focused and I can dress them up and wear them more casually. So for me, pants are my go-to essentials. But again, it's about deciding what works for you. Oh, 
Now next up is a great blazer or jacket. Now I think if I had to choose one of the two, well for starters I wouldn't want to choose because I have a great blazer and I have a great jacket and so I think for me I kind of need both but it really depends on what your wardrobe looks like and what your style looks like. My go-to blazer is a very simple, it's a dark, dark navy blazer. And I think the navy is nice because it's just a little bit of a relief from a plain black blazer. And I love this one because it's got really nice um, gold button detailing on it. And I wear this with pretty much everything. It's also got some stretch in it so that it means that it's tailored and it looks structured and it looks pulled together, but it's also really comfortable to wear as well. And I also, the other night I went out and I wore this blazer with a, what did I wear it with? I wore it with a white t-shirt underneath and a very simple leopard print skirt. I will try and cut and show you what this looked like. And I just wore it over my shoulders and then during the night I tied it around my waist. And again, this is why this one's particularly great because it just works well with everything. Now my other favorite jacket, which I couldn't live without and I've had for a number of years is this den oh, denim. This is not denim. This is a leather motor jacket and I bought this in the middle of summer one year, about five years ago, and it was a great buy. So again, it's a piece that I just wear on the regular and I can't imagine ever parting with this one. It's slightly oversized, so it goes with pretty much everything from a simple t-shirt underneath and jeans or a cute little dress, a floral dress, it goes with everything. So for me, these are two really hard working wardrobe essentials. So a blazer or a jacket, it could be a denim jacket as well, but these are essentials that I think we all need in our wardrobe. And of course I couldn't make a video like this without including denim. Now I know that denim isn't right for everyone but for most of us denim essentials are really good basics in our wardrobe. Now you don't need to be told what type of denim jeans work for you. Maybe you're not even a denim jeans person. Maybe you're more suited to a denim skirt. Whatever it is find your denim essentials and you will not look back, I promise you. They are super handy to have in your wardrobe. I particularly like boyfriend jeans and I also have some super skinny black jeans and a, a white washed, sort of gray washed denim jean as well. And so these for me are real essentials in my wardrobe and I just don't know what I would wear if I didn't have them. I recently created a video on how to find the perfect pair of denim jeans, so I will link it up here in a card so you can go and check that out later if you would like to. We also need great knits as part of our essentials armory. Now I like my knitwear to be oversized and kind of slouchy and comfy, but you, your knitwear essentials may be more slimline fitted turtlenecks or they may be more pieces that you use for layering and not so much outerwear pieces. Maybe knitwear isn't right for you, so you need to find something that is going to fill that gap in your closet. I really love knits, but I also love stylish hoodies. So. I tend to buy hoodies so that I can wear under blazers and jackets in winter and I find them a really useful style staple in my wardrobe. I've actually just picked up a new one here which I absolutely love. It's not cool enough here in New Zealand for me to wear it yet but when the weather cools down I'm going to really enjoy wearing this in lots of different ways. I'll wear it under my blazer that I just showed you earlier and I'll wear it tight around my waist but again it's about finding Finding that piece that's right for you. If it's not wear, knitwear, it may be hoodies, or it may be it may be cardigans, or it may be little bomber jackets that are your go-to pieces that just create that that little extra something in your wardrobe and fill that gap.
The last essential that I think we all need is the perfect party outfit. Now this is just something that we don't wear often but when we get invited somewhere special we've got it there and we can grab it and put it on and feel amazing in. And I think it's really worth including on the essentials list because these events are usually super exciting to get invited to but as soon as we get invited we often feel this sense of dread in thinking what are we going to wear so if we have at least one amazing party piece we know that we're always covered off that we've always got something that we can put on and it will work it'll work to wear to a friend's 50th or it'll work to wear to a wedding or any event that's a special occasion. So I think it's essential that we have at least one really special party piece. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found some unexpected essentials to add to your closet too. If you have any other essentials that you really need in your closet and I haven't covered them off here, I'm sure there are plenty, please let me know about them in the comments below. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I look forward to catching you in the next one. Bye for now.